What's going on guys? So today we're doing some surf fishing and this is not your normal surf fishing day. Today I'm actually going to be testing rigs to see what surf fishing rig works the best. So on two of my rods I have naked rigs and on the other two I have float rigs. Now they are staggered because I think it's very important that we kind of have a control of some sort in this experiment. Now Elias on the other end he is actually going to be fishing beaded rigs and he actually has one that is set up with the weight first and then two free floating lines off of that weight. So we're getting a myriad of different examples. So let's get to fishing and we'll regroup at the end. It's important to note that these rigs are custom made. They are 15 pound fluorocarbon. I've got two uh, one ounce circle hooks and I'm fishing two ounce weights on each rig. So this is all the same setup. There it is. All right, we got the first one on. I believe. Small, whatever it is. Ah, uh, it just came off. No, he didn't. He's still there. It's a teeny sea mullet. Well, that's the first culprit on the naked rig. That's a six inch sea mullet. We'll get him back. All right, my rod next to me is, uh, just went slack getting some tension on here oh yeah that's slack all right we're on again all right let's see what we got guys another small one all right well that's two on the naked rig they're very small that's a bluefish so we're at two small fish on the naked rig as of right now get him back that's getting hit that's getting hit i think oh yeah there's a good fish all right y'all first good one of the day and i'm fishing a uh, fresh shrimp bluefish man and this is on the rig with a float so That's the third fish total, and this was actually caught on a float rig, so that's the first fish on the float. This rod went slack. Let's see what we got. It might be a skate, actually, y'all. This one was pretty close. Actually, no, it's not. That's a good fish. Okay. Our first speckled trout. That's awesome. Wow. I didn't expect that. My first speckled trout from the surf, that was on the floated rigs. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, we'll get him back. He's about 12 inches, 10 to 12. That's cool. Let's see what we got here. I thought it was another skate, to be honest. That was another skate. That's a flounder. That's a little flounder. Beautiful little guy. That worked. And that was on the uh, rig with the floats. Oh, I'm getting hit on the end. Let's see what we got. This is really slack. Feels like a small fish. Oh, okay, there he is, there he is. I feel him now. Oh, a nice one. Nice whiting, sea mullet, whatever you want to call it. That's a good one, y'all. And that's also on the float rig. Okay. This guy was caught on the float rig. And this is the nicer one of the day. Oh, that's two quality fish on the float rig back to back. There might be something to that. Seems like we are having an influx of good fish. Most of them afternoon has been just culling through the junk. Come here, buddy. Come here. So it's good to see back-to-back -back quality fish like that. Hopefully we can keep this going. Actually, there might be something small. Yeah, something small. We got a good fish on down here. That looks good. Pole dancing. There we go. Maybe it's something other than one of them little bluefish. We've been catching a lot of small bluefish here lately, so it's nice to see what looks like a quality fish on. All right, coming in, looks like a little black drum. Okay, 
And this is uh, interesting to note, this is also on the white float rig. There might be something to that here, guys. A little teeny black drum. Feels good. Feels real good. Looks like it's uh, legit fighting me. Hopefully it's not an old skater boy. Let's see what it is. What is it? What is it? Nice sea mullet. And that is also on the float rig. Some good fish moving around right now. That's good. It's another nice one. All right, now that is my third sea mullet. I'm done keeping them. Now I am anyways. I'm having to let these fish take it because of the amount of junk fish that we're having to fight through. I'm not gonna show you all of that, but take my word for it, we've been catching a lot of small blue fish. That's getting hit right here beside me. Got a good fish here. I just casted this out. Let's see what we got on here. Show me another whiting. Blue. All right. Nice bluefish. He hit it instantly, I'm talking, and this is on the naked. It seems like the bluefish really like the naked setups better. Oh my gosh. That was instant. I have never done that before. I couldn't even get the rod in the rod holder, y'all. That was insane. I have never seen anything like that. It's like I cast it right into a school. Ah, blue, no. I did, I cast it right into the bluefish. Yeah. And that was on the float rig though. Oh, I'm getting hit beside me. Like a decent fish. There it is. Take it. I think he's still out there. I think he's up there. Oh yeah, I got a fish. Yeah, let's see what it is. It's a little sea mullet. A little one. Honey. Too small. We've uh, resorted to the live shrimp. We were just getting so much trash with the fresh shrimp and they would not hit fish bites. So I just got this little black drum. Get him back. Cute little fella. And we got a fish on here. Feeling very skatey. Oh no, that's a flounder. Okay. Little flounder. On the yellow float. Hey buddy. Got real sharp teeth. Alright, buddy. Get you out of here, honey. Got a couple years. Well, probably a year on you. Alright, we're back at the house. I want to talk about the results and add a few tips in for you guys that are getting into surf fishing. So out the gate, you saw the highlight reel of the day, which tells me that the majority of the quality fish caught were with the float rigs. Now what you didn't see was all of the six to eight inch bluefish that we caught, all the puffers, the 20 skates that we caught, and then the two rigs that actually got broke off because of skates that I couldn't get off the bottom. Long story short here, what we're seeing is if you get that bait off the bottom, you're going to cut down on your junk fish. An important point that I want to make is if you notice the beginning of my video, I was catching better fish on the white floats, which would have been the rising tide. After that tide switched, it seemed like white was still catching fish, but not as well as the fluorescent yellow was. So I think a key takeaway there is there's not necessarily one color that is going to catch the best throughout the entire day. And it, and it might be uh, noteworthy for you to go ahead and plan to bring a few different kinds of, of rigs as far as the different colors go. Now, I personally think that the circle hook is the way to go because I like the hook to be able to step in and do its job whenever I'm not able to stand right in front of the rod. If you're fishing four rods, you're going to miss bites. So the circle hook is going to actually hook the fish for me. You may talk to some folks that like the kale better or the bait holder better. I understand. It's, it's kind of one of those situations where it's different folks, different strokes. If you guys are trying to get into surf fishing and you don't know what 
rod and weight and line and, and whatever it may be. Uh, I use a tall surf rod. All of mine are at least eight, six or higher because I'm gonna get my line out of the wave action that's approaching the beach. Also, I like braided line because there's no give. Monofilament has a lot of give and stretch and that braid gives me a sure connection to the weight that's actually in the sand. So whenever I get a hit, my rod tells me what's going on. I don't miss fish because of that pulling and tugging and stretching of the monofilament. And if you guys have any questions about anything else, drop a comment down below. I'm happy to help. And I appreciate y'all watching these videos. Thanks again. I'll catch you next time.